Today on Rust Belt Airgun, I'm going to review the Model 25 Air Rifle by Daisy. From my videos, you have seen my Daisy Red Rider BB gun collection in the background. At the top is my dad's Daisy Red Rider BB gun from the 1950s. Below that is my Daisy Red Rider I had as a child from the early 1980s. Second from the bottom is the Daisy Red Rider my wife gave me as a gag gift for Christmas a couple years ago. This air rifle started my fascination as adult with air guns that amalgamated into my YouTube channel, Rust Belt Air Gun. Finally, at the bottom is my Daisy Red Rider 80th Anniversary Edition, another Christmas gift from my wife. On the other hand, this is the first Daisy Model 25 I have ever owned. The Model 25 is a pump action spring air or springer air rifle. This air rifle can shoot .177 caliber steel BBs at velocities up to 350 FPS. It has real wood stain stock and foregrip. In addition, the rest of the air rifle is made of all metal construction. The Model 25 is recommended for ages 10 and older with adult supervision, but it's also fun for adults that are kids at heart as well. The Daisy Model 25 weighs 3 pounds and 7.3 ounces, or 1 kilogram and 570 grams. Its overall length is 36 and 7 8 inches, or 93.66 centimeters. And its height, from the top of the rear sight to the bottom of the stock, is 6 and 3 quarters inches, or 17.15 centimeters. The Daisy Model 25, designed by Charles F. Lefevre, dominated the low-price, high-performance airgun market from 1914 to 1978 before discontinuation. The Daisy Model 25's trombone pump-action force multiplier offered higher velocities than lever-action airguns at the time, such as the Daisy Red Rider that used weak springs to keep cocking efforts low for use by youth. The Model 25 re-entered production in 2009. The reissued version is made in China and with an upgraded velocity of 350 FPS. The new Model 25 above looks slightly upscaled to the new Red Rider seen below. Both of these air rifles shoot .177 caliber steel BBs at velocities up to 350 FPS and have a smooth bore barrel. The Model 25 is also slightly longer than the Red Rider. The downside of the Model 25 is that it only has a capacity of 50 BBs versus the Red Rider's 650 BB capacity. The new Model 25 above has some nice engraving scroll work on its gloss black receiver, while the new Red Rider below has a plain receiver with a semi-gloss black finish. On the other hand, the new Model 25 above has a plain stained wood stock, while the new Red Rider below has a Red Rider logo engraved in the stained wood stock. Physically, it looks like the new Model 25 and the new Red Rider stocks are identical, except the Red Rider stock has a groove cut into the bottom for the cocking lever. Both the new Model 25 above and the new Red Rider below have similar post front sights. In addition, both the new Model 25 above and the new Red Rider below have rear blade and ramp B notch iron sights. The Model 25's rear sight can be precisely adjusted for both windage and elevation using small set screws. It can also be changed to a peep sight. The Red Rider's V-notch rear sight can only be granularly adjusted for elevation using a notched ramp. I don't see any adjustments for windage, so you must have to physically bend the rear sight that is spot welded to the receiver in order to adjust. Finally, both the new Model 25 above and the new Red Rider below employ a cross-bolt trigger block safety. The Daisy Model 25 comes in a nice cardboard box. On the left side, the Daisy logo and slogan, It All Starts With Daisy, is displayed on a field of blue. The right side displays a picture of the Daisy Model 25 in all its glory. In addition, Pump Gun in cursive, an old moniker, is displayed just above the barrel of the picture of the Model 25. The inside of the Daisy Model 25 box is plain brown cardboard 
with the foam insert on one side to protect the stock and a cardboard insert on the other side to protect the barrel. Two nylon tie straps hold the slide cocking mechanism in place during shipment. The air rifle is encased in a plastic sheath to protect its finish. The manual is included in a separate plastic bag. As mentioned, the Model 25's rear sight can be adjusted for both windage and elevation. Rear sight elevation is adjusted using the set screw circled in the picture. Rear sight windage is adjusted using the set screw circled in this picture. In addition, the rear sight can be changed from V notched to a peep sight. The Model 25 safety is located just behind the trigger. Push the safety from the left side to engage. When the safety is engaged, no red should be shown on the safety switch. Push the safety from the right side to disengage. Engage the safety. Unscrew the shot tube counterclockwise, then remove from the barrel. Slide the magazine feed tab towards the muzzle and into the notch. Load up to 50 BBs into the loading hole. Release the magazine feed tab. Screw the shot tube clockwise into the barrel. Disengage the safety when ready to fire. Engage the safety. Tilt the air gun upward. Pull the pump grip back until a click is heard, and then return the pump grip to the original position. Aim. Disengage the safety. Fire. And then repeat the process. The engine noises you hear in the background are speedboats on Lake Erie. I live a block away from the Lake Erie coast. I am not going to do a target accuracy test on the Daisy Model 25 as its accuracy is comparable to the modern Daisy Red Rider air rifle. I don't know why I waited so long to add a Daisy Model 25 to my air gun collection. I love this air rifle's retro look and it's all metal and wood construction. The Ed's metal scrolling on the Model 25's receiver is a nice touch. I wish Daisy offered a Red Rider with the Ed's metal scrolling on the receiver as well. You can purchase the Daisy Model 25 using my Amazon referral link in the description. Please like this post and subscribe to Rust Boat Airgun so that you're there to my future posts. Thank you.